Now, we're going to talk about two groups of nouns. Now, here we go. This is important for English. There are two groups of nouns. There are countable, let's write nouns here, nouns. Countable and non-countable. Okay? Some grammar books say uncountable. Okay? Now, there's two groups. If something is countable, we can put an S on it. Okay? For example, one apple, two apples. However, some things cannot be counted. So, let's talk about the things that we can't count. All right. Now, one group is liquids. Liquids. Okay. In this group, we have milk and milk products. So, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, etc. Okay? Another one, cola. Cola. Tea. Tea. Coffee. Coffee. Beer. Beer. Wine. Wine. And water. Okay? So these are liquids that we eat. All right? So milk, cola, tea, coffee, beer, wine, and water. No S. Okay? They're non-countable. Now, another group is powders or grains. Powders or grains. Now, here's some food in this group. Flour, flour, salt, salt, sugar, sugar, rice, rice, and pepper. This is black pepper, pepper, okay? Flour, Salt, sugar, rice, pepper. No S. Okay? You can't count this. Flour, sugar. Okay? You can't count them. All right. Here's another one. Another group is meat. Meat. We have beef. Beef. Lamb. Lamb. Pork, pork, chicken, chicken, and fish, fish, okay? Beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish. No S. Okay. Now, we can count kilos, pieces, or cups of these things. So, for example... We can say, let me write it over here, one kilo of chicken, okay? Or two kilos, kilos of chicken. We can count the kilos, the S can go here, but not here, okay? So one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, one glass of milk, or we could say two glasses of milk, but the S is here, not here. Another example, oops, I went ahead of myself. Two kilos of flour, or one piece of bread, or we could say two pieces of bread. Okay? So again, one kilo of chicken, one glass of milk, two kilos of flour, one piece of bread. So we can count this part, and the S's can go here, but not here. Okay? No S, no S, no S. All right? They are non-countable. Now, there are more groups, but for today, this is enough. Now, I want to talk about articles with these words. 
Now, we saw articles before, and I'll show you this beautiful chart. So, here we have. Okay. General. General and specific. Specific. Okay? General and specific. Now, across this way, we can have singular. Remember, singular is one. Plural is many. Okay? Now, let's do these first. We have a book. General, a book. Specific, the book. The book. Plural, books. Books. Okay, books are countable. Books. All books. Specific, the books. The books. Okay, specific and plural. Now here, we can put non-countable. Now, if you want to say something general, you just say, for example, water. Water. Okay? Now, if you're specific, the water. The water. General, specific. No, a. Uh, never, a. Uh, Never S for non-countable nouns, okay? No A, A, no. S, no, okay, for non-countable nouns. Okay, now let me give you some examples to help you understand this. Now, we can say water is wet. This is general. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. The water in my glass is cold. So this is general. This is specific. Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Okay? There's one example. Here's another one. Flower is white. Okay? Flour is, we use it to make bread. All right? Flour is white. General. The flour in, oops, in the bread is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? General, flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Okay? So this one is specific. And here's another example. Chicken is delicious. Chicken is delicious. General, I like chicken. Chicken is delicious. Specific, the chicken in this salad is delicious. Okay? Delicious means you like it. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Anyway, okay? There. Yummy. Okay? So chicken is delicious. General, the chicken in this salad is delicious. Specific. Also, notice that the verbs are singular. Okay? Water is wet. The water in my glass is cold. Flour is white. The flour in the bread is white. Chicken is delicious. The chicken in this salad is delicious. Okay? So, no a, uh, no s, and singular. Okay, now let's practice. Okay, now let me ask you some questions, starting with Isabel. Isabel, do you like milk? Yes, I do. 
Do you like the milk from a sheep? I don't know. Do you like the milk from the market? Yes, I do. Good. Please buy a liter of milk tonight. Now, Susan, do you like eggs? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a chicken? Yes, I do. Do you like the eggs from a fish? Yuck. No, I don't. No, I don't either. Ugh. Okay, Ali, it's your turn. Do you like yogurt? Yes, I do. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Do you like the ice cream from the market? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Now, you ask Susan about some food. Susan, <coughs> do you like beef? Yes, I do. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I do, but I like hamburgers at home. Okay. Now, Susan, you ask Isabel. Isabel, do you like coffee? Oh, yes. Do you put sugar and milk in it? Yes, I do. I sometimes put hot milk in it. It's very good. Very good. Thank you. Are you getting hungry? Are you getting hungry? Okay. Now, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Tea is good. The tea in my glass is sweet. Fish is good. The fish from Canada is good. Rice is white. The rice on my plate is white. Read and repeat.